Hello, I'm James, and welcome to another Jonesing for Film theatrical review. Yes, Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance, the sort of kind of sequel to 2007's Ghost Rider. So Spirit of Vengeance follows Johnny Blaze, who's hiding out in Eastern Europe and is given the mission of protecting a young boy from the devil. Very, very simple plot. Now, I wasn't a huge fan of the first Ghost Rider film. I didn't hate it, I just thought something was missing from it. Spirit of Vengeance found what was missing. I had a lot of fun with Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. I love Nick Cage films, he's such a fun actor to watch, and here he gives a great over-the-top performance as usual. The rest of the acting was okay, it's pretty much all unfamiliar faces aside from Idris Elba, I've never learned how to pronounce his name right, but he also gave a very fun performance. Now, the biggest upgrades from the first film are the action and the direction style. This film was directed by Mark Neveldine and Brian Taylor, the same duo that brought us the Crank films. I love their directing style. Yes, at times the camera does get very shaky, but there is a reason. These guys follow the action literally. They put on roller skates, tether themselves to vehicles, and film the action. If that's not dedication, then I don't know what is. And they have a really fun sense of action. The biggest problem that I had with the first film was the lack of action. Ghost Rider is a very badass character, and from what I've gathered, he's very action-oriented. There was like two action scenes in the first film that were memorable, and they still weren't even that great. Here the action is so intense and fun. Part of it is the film style, and the other part is what they have Ghost Rider do. I'm not going to go into detail, but it's insane. And I love the new design of Ghost Rider. It's very dark, very gritty, and very badass. Now the movie isn't without faults. For starters, like I said, the plot is very basic, but it's just there to keep the pace going. So I'm not going to dock too many points off just because of that. Also, like I said before, the acting from everyone who wasn't Cage and Elba was just okay. Nothing groundbreaking, just there to be a character. But my biggest problem with this film will actually go away when I buy it. The 3D. This movie did not need to be in 3D. At times, I didn't even notice it. They don't really do anything gimmicky with it, it's just... Basically, it's there for the extra $3 3D price. So I would say that if you have the chance to go see it in 2D, take that option. So overall, I give Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance an excellent. Much better than the first film, a lot of fun, but if you're looking for something with some depth, you'd be best to look elsewhere. So that was my review of Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to visit me on Facebook and check out my blog. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next review.